Hey everybody, I hope you're doing very well. Here's another look at our Optimum 11 V3 release and some of the benefits it has to offer. Right away during Windows setup, you'll see this release offers four builds to choose to install. The first build has edge and widgets removed and defender disabled. This build offers the most performance and runs the lightest of the four available builds. The second build enables defender, but comes without edge and widgets pre-installed. The third comes with Edge and Widgets pre-installed, but Defender is disabled. And the fourth comes with Edge and Widgets pre-installed and enables Windows Security as well as Defender. Each build is designed to run as light and smooth as possible, which gives you added flexibility and control by letting you choose a build that suits your needs best during Windows setup. For this demo, I'll be installing the first build. Now that Optimum 11 is finished installing, I'll show you another benefit this build has to offer. The initial footprint, or storage space used by the OS, is only 5.68 GB on a clean install. Keep in mind that virtual memory is enabled by default in this build. If we disabled virtual memory and restarted Windows, it would only take up 4.5 GB of storage space. Another benefit of Windows X Lite builds is that they're designed to support OS build updates without causing any issues with the in-place optimizations or sacrificing performance. This means that you won't be left behind when new features, security patches, bug fixes, and optimizations are released by Microsoft. The easiest way to update Windows X Lite builds is through Windows settings. Updates are paused by default, but a single click will unpause them at automatic updates will start doing their thing in the background and keep your OS up to date. However, we highly recommend leaving updates paused as enabling them will give you less control over what updates get installed and when they get installed. As update services will be constantly running in the background and periodically scanning and installing new updates when they become available. Enabling automatic updates can also have a negative impact on performance. If you'd like to update the OS build, our preferred and recommended method that will keep you in control and keep your resource use and processes down is to update manually. You can download update packs directly from our website for the latest versions of Windows 10 and 11. Running WinVer will show us that Optimum 11 is currently on OS build 22621.1992. On our Windows 11 Updates page, we see the latest available update pack is build 22621.2070. To update your build, simply download the latest pack that's available on our update page. After it finishes downloading, open the pack to run the file, and when you're notified that the manual update is complete, simply restart your PC to complete the changes and finish updating your OS build. Depending on the speed of your PC, this process can take some time, so a little patience will be required. During the update process, I'll show you how to install the latest version of the MS Store in this build, as well as the latest versions of Notepad and Paint. Installing Notepad and Paint will also add new options to your right-click context menu for creating a new text file and new bitmap file. Once the OS build update completes, we'll show you the added context menu options in action. Optimum 11 will support all future OS build updates, including Windows 11 23H2 releases. If you're looking for a light, clean, optimized build of Windows 10 or 11 that's designed to work on virtually any PC, Windows X Lite was designed for you.
Strong is mine 